Hey guys, welcome to Savanya channel. Today I am going to read Sakshi Gopal, the Lord who stood as witness. Let's begin. Once two Brahmins of Vidyanagar decided to go on a pilgrimage. One of them was young and poor and the other was old and wealthy. They visited Gaya, Kashi, Prayag and Madura. They arrived at Vrindavan. Look guys, they were in Vidyanagar. They crossed Gaya and then Pradesh and then Lucknow and then they went to Vrindavanam. During the entire journey, the young Brahmin took great care of the old one. The old Brahmin was very pleased with the young Brahmin's services. The, uh, the old Brahmin told, I did not get tired during our whole journey and you served me better than my own son. In return of your services, I promise you my daughter in marriage. The young and poor Brahmin said, Dear sir, I am not educated and also extremely pure. I mean poor. Hence, I am not suitable for your daughter. I served you to please Lord Krishna as he likes the Brahmins. Besides, you cannot give your daughter without your family consent. The old Brahmin assured that nothing could make him changed his mind. The young Brahmin, Brahmin turned around and pointed towards Gopal Ji's temple and said, If you are fully determined to give your daughter to me, please say so before the deity of Gopal. He will be my witness. I told witness because... Here it's very big. Agreeing to this, together they went to the temple. The old Brahmin borrowed before, I mean, the old Brahmin bowed before the deity and said, Dear Lord, I promise that I will give my daughter in marriage to this young Brahmin. Please be the witness for this promise. Yes. Yeah. Then the young Brahmin prayed, O Gopal, if necessary, I may call for you to testify as my witness. After this, the two Brahmins returned to their village. As days passed by, one day, I told one day because, I mean, like that, big, because it's big here, the old Brahmin decided to inform his family, relatives and friends about his promise. So he called his family members for a meet. What? Our daughter cannot marry a poor man. Do not fulfill your promise, said the grandma. The old Brahmin revealed that Lord Gopal in Vrindavan was the witness to his promise. The eldest son spoke. The deity Gopal lives far away in Vrindavan. How can he come here? Do not worry, father. Just say that you do not remember anything. I will take care of the rest. Fearing the consequences of lying, the father prayed to Lord Gopal, O merciful Gopala, please help me not to break my promise. One fine day, the young Brahmin visited the old Brahmin. He offered his respectful greetings and reminded the promise. The old Brahmin kept mum, but his son rushed at the young Brahmin screaming. How dare you want to marry my sister? Get out of this house! The young Brahmin was shocked to hear this. The son the insulted young Brahmin went out and gathered all the village people and asked them for their help. 
This Brahmin promised to give his daughter in marriage to me. Now he refuses to do it. Can you all ask him why? When the villagers inquired, the old Brahmin said, My dear friends, I do not remember making such a promise. This answer be- bewildered the villagers and made them think made them to think whom should they believe. The young Brahmin explained the whole story and told them about the witness. When confronted by the villagers, the Brahmin admitted the old Brahmin am- admitted Everything this Brahmin has told you is true. If Gopal comes here as your witness, I will give you my daughter without fail. Then the young and poor Brahmin told, Go get your go. Go get Gopal, your witness. The young Brahmin was sure Gopal would help him to keep his promise. In fact, everyone liked the idea of inviting Gopal, including the old Brahmin's son. He was sure that a deity could never walk or talk. Soon the young Brahmin started to Vrindavan. As soon as he reached to Vrindavan, he went at once to see Gopal, his witness! I shouted because here it's big. Do you like this flag, guys? And I think there are four blackbirds here. Can you see one here? No, you can't. And three white ones. Can you see this one? Yes. And this one. And this one. Okay, let's continue. Ma. The young Brahmin told, My dear Lord, I am not interested in getting the Brahmin's daughter as my wife. But I feel great pain that she broke his religious principle of truthfulness. Please save us from the sin by acting as my witness. He pleaded Gopal to come with him to his village and stand as his witness. Then Sakshi go then Gopal told but but then Lord Gopal told but I never heard of a deity walking from one place to another. The Brahmin told My dear Lord if you can talk, you can walk. You are not a statue. You are the supreme personality of Godhead. Please come with me, even though you have never done this before. Gopal was defeated by the young Brahmin's devotion and conviction. He smiled and said, I will go with you, but I shall not walk behind you. But do not try to see me by turning around. As soon as you look at me, I will, I will stop walking. And you will hear my ankle bells. And thus, you will know I am walking behind you. See guys, the ankle bells. Both of them started walking. Now look. Vrindavan to Vidyanagar. The sound of ankle bells showed young Brahmin that Gopal was behind him. As they neared their village, the anklet sound stopped, so he turned around and looked into the smiling face of Gopal. Now you can go home. I shall stay here. I will not leave. Sakshi Gopal said. Quickly, the young Brahmin ran to the village and told everyone of Gopal's arrival. All were struck with wonder and came to see the deity. Look, this is the young Brahmin and this is Sakshi Gopal. So many birds. 
the old Brahmin also came. He fell respectfully at the feet of Gopal. Thus, in the presence of all the villagers, Gopal stood as witness. The old Brahmin repented, agreed to give his daughter to the young Brahmin in marriage. At that very place, the marriage ceremony was held. Gopal told both the Brahmins, You both are my eternal servants. I am very much pleased by your devotion. You may ask for any favor. With great pleasure, both of them replied, Please stay here so that people all over the world will always know how merciful you are to your devotees. Guys, there is only thirty there are only thirty pages, but here some more and here also some more is there. It's amazing, right? Gopal agreed to stay in Vidyanagar. He was worshipped by all of them with great love and devotion. Hearing about the Lord's wonderful activities, devotees from many places came to see him. The king also came and had a Gopal's darshan. He built a beautiful temple for him. That temple is known as the temple of Sakshi Gopal. I thought it because here it's very big. Oh, I forgot to read here. He quickly becomes righteous and attains lasting peace. O son of Kunti, declare it boldly that my devotee never perishes. And guys, this is the Sakshi Gopal temple. If you can't see properly, I'm keeping like this. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share, hit the bell icon, hit the notifications button, share this video, hit the like button and give me a huge thumbs up. Okay guys, bye. See you next time. And what video do you want me to do next? I know I'll make a clothes store and take a video. Okay guys, I'll do that next Sunday because this is Sunday night. Today's date is uh, 21. So, one second. Hey guys, my name is Clara. This Barbie I got for my 8th birthday in 2021. This is 2021 and the month February. Okay guys, bye. Please hit the subscribe button. And every Barbie has, they will show their teeth. But this one doesn't. That's why I like this so much. See, it can even move its head up and down. It can move her hands this way and this way. But it can't rotate its wrists or bend its fingers. Do you like the sneakers? I took her outside somewhere. That's why it's very dusty. If you can see. Bye guys. She told bye. Bye. Bye guys, see you next time.